Hey, it's Josh here with Carp and Catfish Baits, Tips, Tricks, and Techniques. And if you love to fish for carp or catfish like I do, you may want to consider subscribing to the channel. I've got tons of bait making, rig tying, and fishing videos uploaded. Thanks for stopping by, and we hope you enjoy the video. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, for today's bait video, what we're going to be doing is making one of my favorite baits. And how you do this is you actually make two separate baits and then combine them together. It's got a lot of goodies in it. It's got oats in it. It's got sweet feed pellets in it. It's got millet in it. It's got soybean millet in it. This is just an all around great bait. First thing you're gonna need is a bucket, obviously. And then we're gonna need to measure out one pound, four ounces of soybean meal. Once you've got that measured out, go ahead and dump it in your bucket. If you save your panko breadcrumb containers, uh, you can just fill one of those cans up if you buy it in the can, and that'll be basically one pound, four ounces. Now that we've got that, we need to measure out one pound, four ounces of hauled millet. Once you got that measured out, super easy, go ahead and dump that in your buggy. The next step is we're going to need a little bit of flour, so we're going to measure out one and a quarter cup of flour. And again, once you've got that done, just go ahead and dump it in your bucket. And now you're going to mix your dry ingredients together for this one. Alright guys, while we're mixing this bait up, I want to share a couple new things about the channel with you. One, we recently became monetized. What's that mean? Uh, you might see an ad pop up here and there on some of our YouTube videos. We also recently became an Amazon affiliate. What's that mean? Well, we're gonna put some different Amazon links in the video descriptions of the products that we use. Also a link to Amazon's homepage as well. And if you guys click on one of those links and make a purchase on Amazon within 24 hours on anything at all, doesn't matter if it's one of the items in the video, as long as you click that link and then make a purchase on something, the channel will receive a small portion. As always, if you guys could give this video a thumbs up or if you're watching, and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That'll help these videos rank higher in the search listings so we'll reach more people. That'll help us generate a little bit of income on the channel and it will allow us to do bigger and better things for you guys. So once you've got it all coated evenly, your flour, your millet, and your soybean meal, you're gonna need eight ounces of k -Row syrup. So once you've got your syrup measured out, you're gonna to wanna to toss it in the microwave for about a minute. That's gonna help thin it out and make it easier to mix your flavor into it and to mix it into your pack bait. All right guys, now that we've got our syrup heated up, we're gonna go ahead and add in our flavor. Uh, for today, we're gonna to be using Banana Supreme by Hog Sauce. Just dump a little bit into your syrup as much or as little as you like. I think that's gonna do us pretty good right there. Take your spatula, just kind of mix it into the syrup. 
way it's nice and even in there when you dump it in your bucket. And just go ahead and dump it in your bucket. Spatula comes in handy for scraping the sides to get all the excess out. Be careful if you just pulled your syrup out, it could still be very hot, it could burn you. So be careful. We're gonna go ahead and take our time and mix this thoroughly. We wanna make sure there's no dry spots and then we'll bring the camera in and show you what it looks like. So that's the first half of the bait and this second part's gonna go a lot quicker and a lot easier. Now what we need is one container of old fashioned oats. All you need to do is pop the top on it, dump it in your bucket. Now we're gonna need one pound of sweet feed. And if you don't know what sweet feed is, it's just a, it's like little pellets that they feed horses and other animals, kind of like a sweet little treat. It's got molasses and maybe a few little particles in it. And once you've got that measured out, just go ahead and dump that in your bucket as well. And now you're gonna to wanna to mix it up really good. We're gonna take our time and mix this up and then we'll show you what it looks like before we add the syrup. Basically what you're gonna have is some oats with some pellets mixed into it. And now we're gonna move on to the next step, which is 16 ounces of Cairo syrup. And just like we did on the last one, we're gonna to toss this syrup in the microwave for a minute. Now that our syrup's ready, we're gonna add some Banana Supreme hog sauce to it. If you wanted to get nuts, you could go out and put a different type of flavor, like a grape or a peach in it. Combine two different flavor profiles and see what happens. I've done it. Sometimes it works pretty good. But for us, we're going back with the Banana Supreme. You can add as little or as much as you like. always try to tell people not to overdo it for a bucket like this we usually do anywhere from a quarter to a third of a bottle and now we're gonna go ahead and mix it in with our spatula and dump it into your bucket. Spatula like this comes in really handy for scraping out the sides. Also comes in handy for scraping your hands off once you're done mixing it up. All right, boys, it's time to get dirty. Same as the other bait, you don't want to have any dry spots once you're done mixing. I'm gonna take my time and mix this up really good. And then we're gonna let both buckets of bait set up for just a little bit, and then I'll show you what to do. All right, guys, it's been probably about an hour and a half or so. And to finish it off, we're just gonna mix these two together. I like to use a third bucket and mix a little bit from each at a time. That way they're mixed in real thoroughly. It's about half of that one. <clears throat> And 
And that's about half of that one. So this makes a pretty big batch of bait as well. It's gonna last you several sessions. Being a syrup bait, it'll last basically forever. If it starts to dry out on you, set a little bit more syrup in it and it'll start packing again. We'll add a little bit more of the oats. Add the rest of them in there. Like I said, this is one of my very favorite baits. I've caught so many fish on this. I think for like a whole year, this is all I used a couple years ago. It's got so many different textures to it. So many different goodies that carp just love. And add the rest of this. As <clears throat> soon as we're done mixing it up, we'll bring the camera in here and show you what it looks like. If you've got a big container, like a tote or something, it does make it a lot easier to mix it together that way if you want to dump it in there first. All right guys, this is the finished product. You can see all the goodies in there and uh, we'll get to a breakdown test on it for you. First thing we're gonna wanna do is get our hand wet, pack us a ball up. Stuff packs really good so you can throw it a long way. So it doesn't take too long to set up either uh, from start to finish you know probably just a few hours what's cool about that sweet feed is once it starts to absorb water they expand and uh, they kind of make a bait pile on top of a bait pile Really see that hog sauce coming out. Looks good. Get some of these bubbles out of your way. Like I said, you guys can pack this bait as tight as you want. I gave it about a medium pack right there and it took around a minute and 30 seconds to break down. If you pack it super tight, it will still break. It just takes about two minutes or so to do it that way. Let me bring the camera in here and show you a little bit more what it looks like in the water. There you go, guys. I wanna say thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button.